Guys, it's Monday. Monday. Oh. Whoa, what are you doing, Lee? Yeah, so um, a bit of everything. So with Color Pixels, we've got the Japan DLC coming out. That needs the QA testing finishing up for that. Um, and as well as that, we have the Hexia DLC. Getting, we're getting the groundwork ready for that as well. So we get the store page sent off for the Hexia DLC. And there's another store page as well. Bulloop. Bulloop as well. There's being a start on the next uh, Bulloop DLC. The Animals Book Guys has already done half of it. So I've got enough to get the store page. That's enough as well. So yeah, a lot of store pages. A bit of color pixels. And then I guess more stuff towards the end of the week when I've got more stuff to pick up. <laughs> Yeah, as he said, uh, a bit of uh, Icy's done half the Rulu DLC for animals, and I'm going to be doing the other half, maybe like a quarter. I think Lee's going to do some at one point as well. But most of the week, um, or most of the day, anyway, I'm going to be doing some QA on Icy's levels, and maybe a bit of pain, you know, in the next room. We'll see what goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely need some pain. The place is an absolute tip. There's chairs and stuff everywhere. Um, but yeah, for me, I'm going to be all over the place as well. But we're, we're just we're just a mess this week. Um, I'm going to be doing some Hexseed stuff. So I'm going to be adding the new mechanic for the next DLC that will be coming out next month for that. Um, and also adding a... Um, oh, what day is it next week? What's... St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, we're going to add a St. Patrick's Day event in game. It's going to make it green and add clubs everywhere, which will be great. <laughs> um, yeah, a bit of a loop and stuff like that. But yeah, I think that's going to be the fun stuff. Painting, lots of painting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been working on the Hexseed mechanic that we're adding for the new DLC coming next month. Um, so the way this one works is um, me and Icy and Lee did a bit of a brainstorm earlier about what we could do. Um, so we're trying to make a mechanic that sort of works with wall and portal tiles. So this one, um, this little icon indicates that the sort of route it's going to take of like visibility is going to go around here and end up back where it started. And we've got an anti-clockwise version as well. Yeah, and if we look here, it is stopped by walls. It's the anti-clockwise version. And then if you click on this one, you can see that we're using a couple of different directions as well to get some unique shapes. I think this one's going to be quite good for um, lots of crossovers and things like that. Um, so this one has a, a circle going this way and it's blocked by the wall and this one is going around like this. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then we've got this one here. Um, this one I'll probably take a screenshot of to try and illustrate it. Um, but for this one it's going in here through the portal around here back through the portal this side and then it's going back around like that. Um, so that's just sort of like the chaining thing that we're, we're hoping to do with this one um, with portals and hopefully it won't be too confusing for people um, we realize the, the readability is going to be a bit of a nightmare um, and also you can't really tell but this one um, goes through here comes out here and goes around like that um, there just happens to be a bug with the uh, the visibility of these of um, this at the moment Okay, so I've kind of been jumping around all over the place today. Um, I started off this morning by working on the Scarecrow asset for Athena. I probably should have shut it off sooner, but um, I lost a bit of track of time. Um, I started off with the bucket um, for our little hat, and I'm going to draw a little face on him, just to make him look a bit um, a bit more menacing than just a standing bucket. So I'm kind of going to go for a little bit of a goofy design, like I'm drawn here. Maybe something like that. That's a bit terrible, but something along those lines. I added a bucket on, onto his head just as a little bit of a gimmick. Um, but considering I actually made the asset for the bucket, I did end up just making a new item for the game for a bucket. Just cause, well, I already made it. And that one came out quite nicely. But for the rest of the day, I've pretty much just been working on um, queuing Wooloop for Icy. I've done done a lot of his levels so far as only one to go. There's been a few minor things, but there was some things that um, I'll probably have to pass on to Icy. Okay? There's some missing pins on the um, meadow image that I don't know. Um, what he's intending to draw on so I'm gonna leave that one for him just because I don't want to mess up his, um, his image but apart from that they've all been little fixes and the whole pack's looking really good so far so I've got one more to go and then I'm gonna start tweaking a few things up just to make sure they're ready to go okay so um, today I've been working on Hexade again but I've set my date on the calendar my little my PC thing here um, to the 17th which is St. Patrick's Day uh, so I'm gonna be working on that well it's pretty much done to be honest um so yeah now we get all of these clover assets that jack whipped up for me this morning and put those in and everything's uh, a garish bright green because st patrick's there um and yeah should be fun just an event for the day but yeah just a little something because we've got something in current pixels as well so we just thought why not right okay so it's been quite a busy day for me i've primarily been working on Wooloop. 
um, and I thought I would try to do my own design for Wooly this time around, just for the Animals DLC, at least just try and incorporate one. Um, and I found this really cut outline of a shark, um, it was basically just like this quick, um, quick body uh, sketch. And then what I did was I wanted to try and incorporate the same shading techniques as the airship from the transport DLC. So I actually went in and did all my shading, uh, hand shading by myself. Um, and. I tried to keep it within reason, not so that when I did it in Rue Loop it wouldn't be too overbearing, but I definitely overshot it a bit too much. Um, I'm in Rue Loop right now, just trying to sketch everything down, and um, it's definitely taking a while. I've been doing this for a few hours now, and um, haven't really stopped at all. And I've only just got done where I'm up to now. I'm currently up to the tail. It's taken quite a while, but hopefully tomorrow I'll actually have um, this completely finished. It's definitely one of the biggest ones that I've done. It's so far. Um, 2,522 2, steps, uh, deemed as an extra large level, and I've still got quite a while to go. So yeah, I spent all day uh, QA testing the Japan book. I think I had like five or six images done when I started today. So I've gone through the rest of the book and finished up what I've uh, what I've been doing. Um, there's been a couple of changes, those all been very minor. If you head over to the actual folder now, um, we can see you've got all 20 images in here with all the changes made. I do still need to reorder them into the correct size order, re import them, all that stuff, um, but the bulk of the work is done, so I'll be finishing that up tomorrow. So yeah, it's getting on a bit on Wednesday, and I've gone ahead and finished up the achievements. I've also gone and put all the levels into the actual build as well on Unity. So all the levels are ready to go, and all the achievements are done as well. Uh, I've just gone and finished up uploading them as well. So I've hidden all the stuff you're not meant to see behind this, but yeah, they're all uploaded and ready to go. I will publish it now, but we need to wait for Rob to come back, because Rob's got the day off, um, because he's not feeling too good. Um, so we need Rob to make a build to actually test to make sure that they work. But they're all loaded and they are ready, so yeah, that's our job done. Okay, so it's been a pretty jam-packed day for me. I managed to get the kennel done that I started this morning. Definitely didn't take as long as the hammerhead shark, and it actually looks pretty good. So um, this is my um, sketch I did, just for a little kennel with some, um, some dominant line work and here it is in Wooloop. So it came out pretty close and the only thing that I didn't incorporate was the shallows on the ground and um, the pins was a bit too tight and I really didn't think the image needed it overall and um, I see the great suggestion of just making one bit in the image colour so I went for the dog ball. I don't know, it makes the image stand a bit more. There's just two dominant colours, black and red and I quite like how it came out. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, there's a few areas on the roof such as up here where I think it may be a bit blank but I'm going to wait until I see it actually in game before I make any more tweaks. Um, so I'm just going to wait for that to be QA'd. I finished up the day with uh, prepping the next Hexy DLC. Uh, it's not needed until next month, but Ice is getting along with quite a lot of work, so um, chances are I'm making a start on the Hexy stuff next. Um, so, one thing to bear in mind with this next DLC is that it is including a new mechanic. And with new mechanics come the tutorials and we do the whole thing where we slowly introduce each mechanic uh, in correlation with the new mechanic. So I've broken it down, you can sort of pause the video here and get a, a description of what I've sort of thought out there. Uh, it's very similar to all the other ones, um, but I've just annotated it more and described it more just so um, IC can hopefully come in and understand what's going on. I imagine we'll be having a call with IC to go over the details. And as well as that, the actual tasks on the left here, they've broken down and with tags to let you know which of the, the groups it falls under here. Um, sort of bigger on this screen here, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's ready. I've also made a start on the actual store page stuff. So I've gone ahead and filled in all the little stuff. All that's left to do is the descriptions. And yeah, once that's done, I'll get the store page sent off and prepped for next month. I've been doing about two pieces a day. I'm about to start a third. So it's coming along quite nicely. And one of the images I did was actually a pet from a member of our Discord, Discord, Discord called um, Marcel and he's got a very expressive face so I wanted to try and give him a go in Wooloop. So I did a quick sketch of him first as um, drawing something in Wooloop from like a real life reference can get a bit difficult. So I did a quick sketch of him just to try to highlight um, the main areas of him and I thought I did a pretty good job. <laughs> I accidentally made him look towards the camera rather than in at the distance but I kind of preferred that. I thought it was quite, um, quite a cute look. So, so far it came out quite well. I did do a quick test as you can see here, but it is quite um, thick. A lot of the line work is quite thick. And I think it makes it look a bit, a bit too messy. So the plan is 
Um, and what I've done is that I'm going to thin out the lines down here around his face and try to keep his face more dominant than the rest of his body. And uh, I've just implemented that in now, but I haven't tested it again. So I'll be testing that at one point in the future. And if it needs any more tweaks, I'll continue to do so. But this morning, I was actually working on a fox. I was quite happy with this one. It was a, it came out a lot nicer than I thought it would. Yeah, it came out quite nice. It's quite a simple one, quite a small image. Um, there wasn't many small images so far, so I thought I would try to tackle one. I'm quite happy with it. Hey everyone, sorry for the lack of upload today. I've kind of been all over the place today. Um, it's been a bit of a strange day. Um, so I've kind of been jumping around a lot of projects, such as Wooloop, Athena, and I've even done some streaming today for Coloring Pixels for my first time. It was a lot of fun and a lot of people joined the stream, so it was great seeing you all there. Um, but what I managed to get done today is, I'll start off Athena, I managed to get the Scarecrawler object done. Um, I'm not sure if I'm too happy with them. Um, the game's aesthetic is, it's quite low poly, so it's quite hard to do here when you can't really do strands very much. But in terms of his actual design, I quite like him. We kind of wanted um, the aesthetic that there's been a face just drawn on him really casually, just as a little, on a bucket and then stuck on a scarecrow. It, it came out the way that I wanted, but I'm still not sure on the hair bit. Um, I may make a few reworks there. I'll see what the guys say on Monday. But I also managed to do some Wooloop stuff today. So I wanted to try to do a Wooloop design that is essentially one continuous rope. Um, not in terms of rule loop, this is actually made up of, how many ropes is that, eight, but if you look closely, all the line work is joined together. Um, there's no split in the joint work, it's, all, it's a continuous line through and through. Um, I, I did a little sketch of this this morning, um, I quite like it, it was completely unintentional, but I quite like how the moon kind of fades into almost um, some breath coming from the wolf. And I really like it, and I did some really cool colours with it here, so essentially the moon is more of a whitish blue, whereas the wolf's a bit of a darkish blue. Or in that much of the background, which is a really dark blue, it gives a very night, a very nice nighttime aesthetic. This was the last image for me, and I think Lee's just got the rest of them to do now. So yeah, it's on Friday now. I haven't recorded much recently with my voice going being a bit ill, but I spent a bit of time earlier with Jack getting him set up on the stream, mainly with my voice being going as well. Didn't want to end up trying to stream. Um, so yeah, that went quite well. But Jack done a really good job. But yeah, just so there, there's a new image I've done for Wooloop as well. Here's an actual photograph of a pet. We did put in the pet channel, um, request people to send in their animals. And then any we thought would fit quite nicely, we will try and make. So I've made this parrot. I just need to edit the colours a bit. And the colours just mean the colour I picked from the image. But you see the orange is kind of lost on the main stomach here. And it's still a bit of work, but the actual main image itself is done. So that's ready to be tested and that's quite good. Um, but yeah, a few more images to go and this animal's practically ready. Jack. Lee. <laughs> it's the weekend. It is the weekend. Illness yeah. has struck Toti Labs. You're the last one standing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm the last one standing. Yeah. Rob's, Rob's been off for a few days, been sick, and now I think you're getting starting to get a bit sick now. So, <laughs> so Japan's been out for about a week now. I hope you've all been enjoying that. And um, it was quite a fun one to do. I think next week is the Animals DLC for Wulu. So, please go check that out. Um, it's been quite a fun week. I've been I did my first stream so, and I hope to be doing more often So thank you for all who joined in and to all the people in our discord too Yeah, and the patreons, and the patreons. <laughs> yes, that's right Lee. <laughs> The ones that didn't end up being on the rest of my stream because my PC is not set up too well for streaming <laughs> The next one will be <laughs> Yeah, and hopefully we'll be feeling better by next week. <laughs> yes, hopefully Robin will be back to full function and then I'll be ill <laughs>